Boys, the strongest battlegrounds just got a new update, and today I'm gonna be showing you the top 15 things that you missed in the new update. Starting off with number one, which is a modification to Genos's ult. Basically, when you miss Thunder Kick, it now does this variant. As you can see, you miss and you do this instead. It looks super cool. And speaking of things that look super cool, you can now expand the menu in the top left. As you can see, with this setting right here, I can change how many slots I have on my menu all the way up to 24, which is a setting that I've been waiting for for so long. And along with this setting, you can now actually show and hide categories. So I can condense my entire menu to look like this. All right, guys, next up is a feature that we've all been waiting for. As you may already know, we can spawn brick walls. But with this new feature, we can actually save our builds. So I just have to press save build. It says build saved successfully in the bottom right. Then I can just remove my wall. And then whenever I press load build, it actually spawns the wall back in again. And there's also a handy button for if you accidentally place a wall wrong. Previously, I would have had to get rid of the entire build and start completely from scratch. But now I can just press undo spawned and it'll remove that wall. And I can just keep pressing undo spawned and it will continue removing the last objects that I placed. And speaking of placing objects, the build system has been completely revamped and it's so cool. You can now spawn fragile brick. And as you can see, if I touch it, the entire thing's just gonna fall to pieces. And next up, you can spawn kill bricks now as well. So if I spawn this in and then I touch it, as you can see, I'm instantly gonna die, which is super cool. And this opens up a world of creativity for the build system. Alright, and the last new material that we have is steel. And steel is impenetrable, it won't break. Which is gonna come in really handy for this next feature. Because you can now change the shape. So I can now spawn short walls, cubes, and normal walls. Alright, here we go, I made an obby. Let's see if I can beat it, boys. <laughs> Oh no! All right, let me try this again. Here we go. Come on, I'm so close to the end. Yes! All right, now I can save this build. And you know, if I ever want to try and practice my obby skills again, I can just load it. All right, but yeah, guys, let's say that I set my spawn point to the start of the obby. And then I decide, you know what? I don't want to be playing this obby anymore. Well, previously, I just continue respawning here and it wouldn't fix itself until I restarted the server. But now I can just press reset spawn point, And now whenever I respawn, I'm not going to respawn in that location. So that's pretty cool. Next up is the no movement toggle. And uh, yeah, as you guessed, when you turn it on, you, you can't move anymore. That, that's about it. You, you turn it off and you can move again. But still, that's a cool feature. All right, coming in at number 11 is some changes to the fly command. As you can see, if I fly and then I press Q, I go up. And if I press E, I go down. And once again, guys, I'm going to be making a video about all the stuff that I got added in this update. And this is one of them. So make sure to be on the lookout for that. All right, next up is a setting called remove packages. And guys, this has been long awaited. You may or may not have fought against this character in the past in the strongest battlegrounds. And guys, I'm like invisible in the map, okay? I'm so small. But guys, with this, I can press remove packages and all the other players in the map are gonna not be able to use packages like this. Their arms will be perfectly visible and you can actually tell what's going on. So yeah, that's pretty great. All right, next up, guys, is a very subtle change and I bet you didn't notice it. As you can see, if I hit a dummy and then knock them into a tree or something, as you can see, leaves are gonna fall from the tree, which is a nice addition. All right, guys, Next up is an effects change to Saitama's ultimate. So yeah, if I now hit an opponent with table flip and then they get flung into the air, when they come back down, as you can see, they're gonna make a big crater in the ground, which is really cool. All right, guys, and coming in at our number 15 spot is actually some nerfs to Metal Bat, but they're not super bad. But this nerf has to do with evasive. Now, after I use Brutal Beatdown and then it does this where it flings them into the air and then I have to try and aim this at them, they can actually escape from that final hit now and they can use their evasive evasive. Same thing with Savage Tornado. Whenever I fling them out at the end, they can actually escape from hitting the ground, assuming that they have their evasive. But hey, I guess it's worth it because we got a new ultimate anyways, which looks so cool, dude. I love how this ultimate looks. All right, guys, that's 15 things that you missed in the new update. And one thing that 93.5% of my viewers miss is that they're not subscribed. So make sure you don't miss out on that and make sure to subscribe down below. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you again very soon. Peace.